This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And anything I say in my opinion, please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. So you know, I'm thinking, see, man, last night data. We look at tail every day. The data every release us is false. Man, it gives us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, Despicable Me hit $122 million at the box office, okay? Everybody who has basic common sense, anybody who eyes open, anybody who knows how to read, knows how to listen, knows that the movie theater industry is doing great, okay? The movie industry is doing great. The only company not doing great is AMC. I am confident, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell any stock, but I am confident that Cinemark, IMAX, should see some positive price movement because of the box office this weekend. Will AMC see the same price movement? movement? Probably not. I mean, AMC is the biggest movie theater chain in the world. They make the most revenue in the world. They have revenue outside of the movie business. They have their own candy. They sell their own popcorn. They have Visa mass Visa cards. They have merchandise. They have a rabid fan base. Yet they're trading at fifty cents as Cinemark is over twenty dollars. Make that make sense. The bottom line is this. All this talk about streaming, all this talk about the movie theater business is, is going under is absolute nonsense from the bad actors who want us to sell our shares to them at discounted prices. The movie theater industry is doing great. The only reason AMC isn't doing great is because of the fraud and corruption that's allowed on in the play. And everybody knows what they're doing. SEC knows, the DOJ knows, the FBI knows, and they do absolutely nothing. And like I tell you guys every day, the reason they do absolutely nothing is because the ones losing money are retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules. If AMC was primarily owned by institutions and big dogs, it would not be trading so low. Because they would not accept that level of market manipulation. They would go to Congress. They would be at the SEC. They would be at the DOJ. They would be at the FBI pushing for enforcement of the rules and regulations of the market. But because we don't make million dollar, not bribes, that's not the right word. We don't make million dollar donations to politicians. Because we don't have those kind of political connections, they can continue to rob and steal from us with no consequences. And, and this is pure greed, okay? Pure greed on the part of these bad actors. Nobody told them to keep doubling and tripling down on their short positions by creating billions or quadrillions of counterfeit AMC shares. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that the other movie theater chains are going to see positive price action because of the box office this weekend. But will AMC continue to run sideways or even, or even go into red? Because the bad actors can do whatever they want, whenever they want, with no consequences because they own the DOJ, they own the FBI, and they own the SEC. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.